Good day, Leo, and welcome to my channel. This is your weekly reading for February 26th to March 3rd. If you're new here, welcome. If you're coming back, welcome back. I hope you're all doing well, and I hope this reading resonates with you. Universe Speak. Spirit's Guide. What needs to be known? What lessons need to be learned? Four hearts, two of diamonds, five of spades, and the ace of diamonds. All right, so your general energy for the week is the ace of diamonds. Good news. So, yeah. There's some good news coming towards you that's going to lead to new success in life. Uh, this can come in a letter, a gift, or even an email. Um, but the thing is, is that you might fear it. And this can be multiple uh, pieces of good news throughout the whole week. Uh, but you might you might fear this good news. Uh, it could be news about a job opportunity, or you know, it could be news about anything like you know anything at all. That's good news that can lead you to new success. And you might feel, maybe say like it's a job uh, offer or something, you might feel like you're not qualified enough for the job. And that's where the fear is coming from, is that you fear you're not qualified enough. But the cards say, no, go for it. You're perfectly good. Whatever the good news is, it's good for you. Don't fear it. Go for it. At the beginning of the week... Uh, you got the Four of Hearts. Yeah, you need to retreat and refocus. Uh, past thoughts are going to be overwhelming you, causing disappointment and emotional unstableness. Uh, it's time for you to heal. Uh, so, during this week, or at least the beginning of the week, when you're in like a conversation with somebody, if you get overwhelmed by it, uh, go ahead and tell them that you need a minute uh, to think, you know, and then take that time to step aside and take some deep breaths and you know just center yourself a little bit also um when you have downtime make sure that that downtime is quality time spent uh don't just like sit and watch tv and eat popcorn the whole time or whatever instead you take that time and you make it quality time uh go on a walk uh, take a bubble bath, you know, uh, maybe some meditation, yoga, go work out, do something that is uh, bringing something more healing to your life, you know, uh, physically, mentally, whatever. Uh, definitely, like, make sure that that's quality time that you're spending. You're not just, you know, loafing it away. Uh, in the middle of the week, there's a cheater. There's somebody cheating on you in some way or shape or form. Now, this doesn't have to be romantic. This can be a friend. This can be a family member. This can even be a business partner. Just somebody stabbing you in the back. Um, so, I mean, take it how it resonates, but there's definitely a cheater. And uh, when you find out about who it is, you're going to have to figure out how you want to handle that. Uh, but from the end of the week here... The Five of Spades, it looks like it might come to a breakup uh, with this cheater. Uh, yeah, somebody's betraying you, obviously. Somebody's cheating on you, so uh, it's going to lead to a breakup. And the cards say that it's time. It's time for this to change. Um, regardless who this person is, it's time for you to split apart and go your separate ways. So, I mean... You can you can keep this cheater if you want, but the cards are saying most likely it's going to end. It's going to come to a breakup, uh, definitely. So, And that might be what your overwhelmed thoughts and stuff are about, is this cheater. Perhaps at the beginning of the week you start to realize that something's not right. And that starts causing you to have past thoughts, maybe about uh, other relationships that you've had that have ended the same way or whatever. Uh, but definitely, uh, when you have that downtime, definitely make it quality downtime, uh, for your mind, body, and soul, you know. Uh, let's go ahead and see what the tarot cards had to say about this. Universe speak. Spirit's guide. What needs to be known? 
but lessons need to be learned. And you know what I want to say one other thing? When it comes to the good news, uh, <clears throat> all of this, um, you know, the, the overwhelming thoughts, the cheating, the betrayal, these things are <clears throat> could easily set fear in you about any good news, just because, you know. So definitely keep an eye on that. That's why it's so important for you to make that... Um, that downtime, quality time, so that you can keep your own mental straight, so that when the good stuff comes through, you're not fearing it and pushing it away because of your own overwhelmed, disappointed thoughts and whatnot, you know what I'm saying? Uh, anyway, let's see what we got here. Oh, yeah, see, uh, you, got the, uh, you got the devil card here. The devil is a... Um, uh, uh, an energy, energy vampire, you know, it drains your energy, and this person is definitely draining your energy, uh, but the thing is, is that if you look, the people with the chains around their necks, the chains are very loose around their necks, they could easily, they're not even, their hands are free, they could easily just take those chains off and leave this, uh, this uh, energy vampire behind. And move on with their lives so I feel like a lot of this is is up to you you know it's up to you to make sure that you have quality time it's up to you probably to end this uh, with this person uh, these are probably things all up to you um, but this person is definitely some kind of energy vampire um, that's probably why the cards are saying that it's time. It's time for this to change because this person's probably been draining you this whole time. So there you go. A little bit of a short reading here. I mean, not much more to say. You know, uh, you got good news coming in leading to new success. Don't fear it. Go for it. Don't let these issues, you know, come in between that. You know, uh, quality time. You're going to deal with a cheater. And uh, there's going to be a breakup, and I feel like it's up to you to um, release yourself from this. So anyway, I hope this resonated, and I hope it uh, helps in some way. And if it does, hit that like button, and if you would, please comment, share, and subscribe. I hope to see you back here next week, and until then, stay safe, stay mindful, and stay healthy.